What's up everybody and welcome to the most exciting day of the week on a road to glory. It is Thursday, it is rewards day, we've already got division rivals rewards and later this evening I think 6 or 7 o'clock depending if EA have accounted for daylight saving time or if we're going to get screwed by daylight saving time and if clock's changing in a couple of weeks, I don't really know. 6 or 7 o'clock, foot champs rewards will be out which is going to be absolutely sick. So we've got gold one foot champs rewards to come. Whilst that happens as well at 6 or 7 o'clock whenever it is, I'm going to do a crap load of sniping and reveal to you guys the top secret trading method. But first, before all that, we have got what should be, providing people didn't wake up at six o'clock in the morning and play an absolute ton of division rivals, rank one div rivals rewards. So before we get into that, we need to do comments for the day. And we also need to show you guys what I have been doing in the off periods as well, because as you can see, I've got 210,000 coins, which is pretty crazy. But first of all, let me go and do comment of the day, which we are going to go with Boy Bolton, who said, Andy, instead of Handanovic, Skrnar, Forenzi, get Oblak, Godin, and Arias, and replace Lucas Leiva with Fred, and then he edited it and said, maybe use Fabinho, not Fred, because I use Lucas as a CDM. It's an interesting one. I do really want to upgrade my defence, and we're going to talk about this a little bit afterwards. After we've got our Division Rivals rewards, I'll show you guys a couple of ideas for squads that I've got, and some of them are going to be banking on getting some decent Foot Champs rewards. So maybe after the ne after the next video, or the video after, sorry, when we open our Foot Champs rewards, we're going to have to have a proper design and ask you guys what you're thinking for the team. If we get something decent in Div Rivals, I suppose we can do that as well. But to be honest with you, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of things, get your opinion, and then I can start to think about what I want to do when I get my Foot Champs rewards and already have a little bit of an idea. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. But first of all, to discuss the team, I'm not sure whether I want to go for Oblak. Oblak's really good. I'm not sure whether I'm Godin and Arias. I'm not sure how I feel about Arias. I absolutely love Florenzi. I do really want to upgrade my defence, though. I feel like you may have hit the nail on the head a little bit. Especially, I say especially Felipe. Felipe's really good, but in Div Rivals, I play every single game against Varane, Sergio Ramos and Courtois. Or Van Dijk, Sanchez and De Gea. And the difference is ridiculous. Like, people are terrible at this game and they just never concede a goal because they've got, like, the best centre-backs and goalies on the game. Like, two, their centre-back pairing costs more than the whole team. It's a little bit ridiculous and they just AI defend and run around with Casemiro and try and tackle you from behind. Drives me a little bit mental, especially when I'm trying to play Div Rivals, like, 2 o'clock in the morning to make sure I get rank 1 and I've fallen asleep. Like, I literally can't play FIFA unless I'm staring at the screen 100% concentrated. Falling asleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning. No, I can't play Div Rivals. Then it's absolutely terrible, especially against them stupid teams. But anyway, enough of that. As you can see, we've also got almost 1,750 tokens. So once we grab these ones, I think we're going to have like 1,900. But we do first actually need to decide what we're going to get. So this is rank 1 because we got offered 65,000 credits. We could take the 65k. But that's pretty boring, so we're definitely not going to do that. We're going to get 50k for foot champs anyway. We've got one rare players pack and one prime gold players pack, or we can have, oh, and one mega pack, which is actually, the, the, the rewards for rank one are actually pretty decent, so they're tradable, but I did say last week that we were gonna go and tradable and test the difference, and now the time has come and I'm kind of bottling it, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. I really wanna take these ones and be able to sell the stuff so I can like buy Neymar or something like that. In fact, if I wanted to do that, I should probably just take the coins, that, that's pretty boring, so definitely not gonna do that. We said we were gonna do it, Two rare players packs, that's two 25k packs. Two premium gold players is Is two rare players pack? No, that's a 50k pack. That's two 50k packs. Two mega packs is two 35ks. And two gold, prime gold players is 45k? Is that a ridiculous amount of packs? Is that actually true? Okay, we're whatever. We're going untradeable. I said to do it. We're going for it. There we go. Rank one. Div rivals. We smashed it. We got loads of points for playing foot champs. And then we absolutely grinded the life out of Wednesday night. Honest to God, I wanted to never play FIFA again by the end of it. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was ridiculous. Yeah, I was starting off so well. In fact, I'll show you guys now that we got 240 foot champs tokens as well, which is... At, wait, hang on, that means we're basically qualified? Oh, that's sick. Okay. We need, to, we need to go and draw a game or lose a game. We just need to play a game. And then what I can do is I can use all these tokens that I've already got. I can enter foot champs for this weekend. And then the 2,000 it gives me when I claim my foot champs rewards... I can just bank and like store up and then we've, we're always a entry ahead and we've always got one in the bank if we don't want to play our foot champs one weekend. We've always, already got an entry for the weekend after. So that's actually really, really good. We need to, yeah, we just need to do that one more time. If you want to take a look at my skill rating, last night I was one win. I don't know if I've got a clip of it. I think I might have 
deleted the massive five hour record and something like that because it's taken up too much space on my hard drive. But trust me, honest, I was one win away from going into Div 3. I had, I think, 1,870 or 1,869 or something like that. It would, no, it'd have to be more than that. It'd have to be like 79 or 80 or something like that. I was a win away, anyway. I remember thinking, right, Andy, win this game with Div 3. Win this game, you get 800 points towards the ranking and we'll peace out and go to bed. I didn't win. I didn't win the next one. 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 And we just kept going down and down and down, getting 150 points each time. And it, oh, it was killing me. It was absolutely horrific. I can't play FIFA when I'm tired. I can't play FIFA even when I'm talking to someone. It's so bad. But anyway, we've got a lot of packs to open, which is absolutely sick. So we have got two prime gold players, 12 gold players, six rares. That's a 45k pack, I believe. 12 players. 12 items, all players, all gold. So we've got two 50k packs. I, know, I mean, they are untradeable, but still. And we've got two mega packs as well, which is actually legit because I'm running out of contracts like no tomorrow. Right, let's alternate. So we'll, let's hit it off with a mega pack. Can our pack look be better than last week's Div Rivals? We haven't got a board in the first one, so we're not off to a flyer. We've got ourselves an untradeable Biglia. Hmm, okay. Okay, I just want these ones for the consumables, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to get too annoyed by the fact that we haven't really got anything. What have we got? They, like, they're all untradeable, so all of these are getting traded in for SBCs. Like this guy, I could do, I suppose. He might actually sell, which is unfortunate, but never mind. They're all gonna get traded in for SBCs, or all these squad fitnesses and contract cards and all that stuff are gonna get actually used. Like, I was saying about discarding kits, but there's literally no point, because I don't get any coins. We got a shadow card, actually. I'm not sure how much they're worth, but Imagine they're worth about 5,000 coins. Also, I've just realized, I forgot to show you guys, we got 210,000 coins. At the end of the last episode, I was talking about doing a club clear out. So if you take a look at this little clip, you can see I had 138,000 coins. We sold this Leo Matos guy for 1,600, Manone for 4,400. That rep guy actually sold. And I think I was looking at Sniper Liga MX players is why I've got this random bronze guy with a ball for 200 coins and it's sold for 650. I was going to snipe them instead of the Club Brujons and then I just couldn't be bothered. And I picked up one and was like, oh, he's actually a bargain. And I sold him straight away and never actually bothered to do it. But as you've seen, we had 138,000 coins. I then went through and cleared out everything in my club, but I'm actually a moron. I accidentally wiped my trade pile. So if you go and take a look at my trade pile now, there is 15 things on it, but there's only actually like three things that sold. The rest like duplicates and investments and stuff like that, which I'll come on to in the next video. But these are just the ones that I have to relist. So what I'm, the only way I can show you that I'm not winding you guys up is if I jump to the capture gallery and go into FIFA 19, you can see here my trade pile's full, 100 out of 100. I don't actually scroll far enough along. I've just done a bit of sniping and was basically trying to work out a way to make an extra space to list this item up that I just bought, top secret trading filter, coming in the next video. I, I just couldn't. And I must have pressed one of the wrong buttons and cleared the whole thing. So if I fast forward along, you can see this is my trade pile now by accident. It's literally only the stuff I've just showed you guys that I'm relisting back up, but yeah. As you can see, we've got 226,000 coins at this point, plus a couple of these other things are gonna sell as well. So you probably have about 230. And as we jump back to FIFA, you can see we've now only got 210, and that's because Div Rivals rewards came out, and I invested some coins in the top secret sniper method. Like a genius. So, we are going to just ignore that, and basically, I went from 138 k so about 140, to about 220, so we made like 80,000 coins from selling all of the crap in my club. You can see we've only got 174 now. We had like 270 yesterday. All of the good stuff's kind of still there, and there is some random stuff that wouldn't really sell, like Gary Medell and Stindle, like discard value. But there's loads of things missing, and we sold loads of stuff, like proper random amounts of coins, and some non-rares if you have like 2K and stuff like that. So I'd absolutely recommend to you guys to go through and take a look at it. I went through all of my golds and silvers and then I just ignored the bronzes. I couldn't really be bothered. But anyway, yeah, made some coins from doing that. We're not gonna make any coins from this, but hopefully we're gonna get some maybe sick players to go into our team. I just wanted to do it for a bit of an experiment, to be honest with you, to see if you actually do get better pack luck in the untradeables. We didn't get off to a flyer. Can we get a board in this one? Yes, okay. Come on, who are we getting? Edin Dzeko, what is he, 84, 85? 85, all right, decent. That's all right for when you need to do like an SBC and throw someone in, I suppose. Bring the rating up a little bit. Pretty bloody good. I like it. What have we got else knocking around in this pack? We've got a Bernardo Silver case. Okay, so we've got two boards in the one pack. That's pretty good. 
I think that might be more boards in one pack than we got in the whole bloody rewards last week, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, Bling, if we want to build a sweaty Premier League team. And then a couple of, well, quite a few non-rares that we're never really going to do anything with. Not too shabby, I suppose. An 84 and 85 is pretty decent for using in SBCs. Maybe with the Hazard play of the month or something like that, if I want to try and splash out and do that. And we've got Yedlin for a sweaty prem team. Not too shabby. I wouldn't mind, actually, speaking of sweaty prem teams, I wouldn't mind getting that red Josh King in my foot champs reward later on and building like a sweaty... But you guys honestly keep banging on at me about <laughs> building a prem team. Let me find this comment. Where about is it? It's from Ronan, he says, I've said this before, and I know the Prem is expensive, but make a Prem La Liga hybrid. I don't know what it is about people on this game and absolutely loving Premier League teams. I kind of want one myself. Like, like I said, I want that red Josh King, and I will just build a Prem squad. And it seems like you guys want to see a Prem squad as well. Right, we're opening a 50k pack. It's not a walkout. It best probably be a board for a 50k pack. It is a board. Okay, decent. What are we saying? Is this Brozen? Oh, Kovacic! Okay. Sweaty Prem team. We're getting a sweaty Prem team. This is good. He's actually really good on this game. I really, really like him. I've used him on my Xbox account. Like my FIFA pointy pay to win account. And we've got Arnautovic as well. Sweaty Prem team. It actually wants me to do it. So Kovacic is really, really good. Four star, four star, high, high. He's got just decent all around stats. I really, really like him. He's a quality player on this game. Arnautovic is one of them ones where he's like six foot four, high attacking, four star, four star. Go to Hedden, you just whack a chem style on him. I think you put the physical dribbling and shooting one on him, and he's an absolute man menace, maniac, whatever you want to say. Terror to defences. Eric D is pretty crap. Where else have we got? Nothing else we'd really use. I mean, the youth used to be a god on FIFA, and he actually still does look pretty good, but still got relegated, so not many people are going to be using him in their team, unfortunately. And we've got a Texera, which we can swap with the duplicate in our club and stick that one on the trade pile, and the same for Almiron. These aren't too bad, to be honest with you. Considering last week, I got absolutely bugger all. We got literally nothing. I mean, anything's decent, even if they are untradeable. And we've got ourselves half of a bloody Premier League team now, which is pretty decent. Right, let's go back to the Mega Pack. Get ourselves some consumables, maybe. Or a walkout, or a board. I wouldn't say no to one of them. No, okay. It's a, it's a 35k pack. It's not really big on the players, is it? We give us volunteers, all right, whatever. Just, just chuck us loads of contracts and squad fitnesses and stuff like that, and I'll let you off. I don't really mind. Ooh, we got to play a pick pack, actually. That's pretty cool. What else? We got Pavon. This lasagna guy is meant to be actually really, really good. But I think it's just because he's fast. People say that. Yannick Balassi, of course, on loan from Everton with his five-star skills. Could build a second English a championship team in the second English league. And then we should just have loads of contracts and squad fitness. No squad fitnesses. And we just got another to youth. We've literally just had them. Oh, that's a nine. Anyway, we've got to play a pick pack. 81 to 83, so let's see what we're going to get in this, because this could be omens for what we're going to get in our foot champs rewards. Can we get a decent 83? we got Savage, or we can have Rudiger for our sweaty prem team. Do we take the 83, or do we take the 81? Savage is 1,000 coins, but 83 rated. Rudiger is 2,000 coins, but he's only 81 rated. Do you know what? I'm going to take Rudiger. We're going to build ourselves an untradeable Premier League squad. Thank you very, very much. And we just got to sell a De Youth. That's actually well annoying. Quick sell for no coins. Feels bad. Right. Prango players pack. What are we saying? Any boards for me? Any walkouts? No walkouts. Okay. Any boards? Yes. Nice. We're getting, we're getting a lot of boards. I like it. What have we got? All right, a sen... No, it's... What am I on about? I was like, it's not a Senjo, but it's good. I almost said it was a Senjo. Lucas Vasquez isn't too bad. He's 83 rated, I suppose. I was like, not a Senjo, but not too shabby. Oh, we got Lucas. I mean, we already got an untradeable Lucas, but I suppose we could put... No, we couldn't, because then we couldn't use the other one on the bench. I was thinking, all right, two Lucases. We'll put purple Lucas in our foot champs team, and we'll put gold Lucas in the sweat squad for fitness, and then we'll put purple Lucas on the... No, we can't do that. You can't put purple Lucas on the bench to get his fitness back, can you? That'd be stupid, Andy. Okay. We've got Mason Holgate, though, who could pair up with... He's got, like, 70 pace. He's only got 76 defending, which isn't amazing. But we could pair him up with Rudiger, just for a sweaty, like, fitness squad or something along the lines of that. Rugani and Kulu, nothing particularly amazing. Lucas is alright, I suppose. And Vasquez, Luke, I've got two decent Lucases. That's about all you can say from that pack. And that just brings us on to the final pack. 50,000 coin pack. Untradeable. What you saying, game? Hit me with a walkout. Come on, please. Be nice. No. It's, it's got to be a board. It's a 50k pack. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, I was saying that last week. And it wasn't giving me anything. We've got Rebury. Oh, no. Coleman. He's decent. Alright. I'll take it. 83 rated. 
untradeable, obviously, but a nice little player to sub on, or a... And we got Rui Patricio for our Premier League team, and we got Yerry Mina, although I'll probably use Holgate, just because he's a lot, 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 lot faster. Patricio is decent for our Prem team, though. Where have we got? Andre Almeida, Benetto, Lopez. Not too shabby. Let me get these duplicates. I'm pretty sure we've just got Inkulu. Yeah, and we can't actually send that one to the trade battle. That's very annoying. But all in all, I would say that is pretty bloody successful, to be honest with you, considering what we got last week. I know we were rank one this week, but I can't complain at all about getting that. And I was going to sit here and say to you guys, right, shall we do this with the squad? Shall we do that with the squad? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to build my Prem team, and then we'll do the what shall we do with the squad after he's actually done the for Champs rewards and got the coins and got the tradable packs and seen how much coins we're actually going to have. So let me pop this onto Premier League. And let's see what players we've actually got. So we obviously just got Rui Patricio. So you can pop him. We got our Rudiger. There's a Den Donker there from last time. Or we can use Mason Holgate. I'm going to go with Mason Holgate just because I'm an Everton fanboy. Do we have a left back? We do. Brian. Very nice. Right back. Yedlin. Obviously. We've literally just got him. Okay. So let's see what other players we've got. We obviously got Arnautovic. Let's throw in. And we obviously got Kovacic. So pop them to him. Because they are probably the two biggest players going on to our squad. We've got a Mikel Antonio there as well, just chilling. What else have we got that we could use to make this team? So we need to decide who's going to go in the squad. And then we can decide on the formation. So we have got Gray. Like I said, I wouldn't mind a Joshua King from Bournemouth to go up front. That would be absolutely sick, pairing up with Arnautovic. We got the Luca. We got Bernardo Silva and Lucas and De La Feo, actually. So we got like 14 right mids and Eric Dier. A Kearney, a drink water. Okay. Iwobi, I think, is our only left mid, isn't he? Which is pretty frustrating. And then these guys actually, these two actually play for me. We could use Richarlison, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use Richarlison in our sweaty Prem team. Okay, so what are we saying? We're going to go with... We can't use Lucas because then we can't put the purple Lucas on the bench to get fitness back. So we'll have to use normal. Oh, no, we can't use... No, we can't use Lucas Thor. What am I doing? So we'll have to use Bernardo Silva or De La Feo. Okay, we've then got Kovacic. We had that Vidra guy, didn't we, actually? We could go 4-3-3 like we do usually. So if I bring Vidra in, change this to 4-3-3. Kovacic can be like the centre mid that is up and down. We can have Eric Dier as the centre mid that actually sits in centre mid. And then we can play Vidra count. I mean, Vidra doesn't look particularly good. But in fact, he's so bad that I, he's tradable. And I went to sell him when I was cleaning out my club and he's discard value. So I just kept him. But he's got four-star weak foot. 85 agility, 80 ball control, 78 dribbling. He's not great, but whatever. It's a basically untradeable Premier League team, to be honest with you. I bought this for Charleston for an investment for 24k, as I'm sure you guys know. He is currently worth, I think he went up to 50 when I was watching the other match. He's still 24k. If he gets an inform, though, he'll shoot a good price. And if he gets an inform, I'll probably just keep him still and just play him in the team. But we can maybe whip out Bernardo Silva for De La Feo if you want to go pacey. But Bernardo Silva is better at pretty much everything else. Well, he's better at everything else. He's only just better at dribbling, but everything else he is. He's only just better at dribbling and physical, but everything else he's miles better at. So. We shall do that. We can send this Lucas away because otherwise we won't be able to put the other team on the bench to get some fitness back. We've got ourselves a sweaty little Premier League squad. I mean, I'm not sure how fair in Div rivals against Sergio Ramos, Varane and Courtois every game, but it's not too bad, I suppose. It's, untra it's basically untradeable. We got bought in for an investment. We got an untradeable Arnautovic, untradeable Bernardo Silva, tradable Vidra that couldn't sell, untradeable Kovacic, untradable Dia, tradable Brian, actually, untradable, 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 untradable. Not too shabby. If we get ourselves a couple of, well, I say a couple, I think there's only Josh King from the Prem this week in the team of the week. Let me have a little quick look. Oh, there's Lacazette as well, actually, but I'd probably put in my actual team. And Barkley, so we might get a Barkley. We could stick Barkley in a camp instead of Vidra if we got red Barkley. So there's a couple of little options to make a red sweaty Prem team that we could maybe be using in the Div Rivals games. I want two four-star Div Rivals, to be honest with you, in my rank. I obviously want to go up the divisions to get better rewards. But I'm not like gonna sweat and sweat and sweat about it and like not use a fun team and just make it really, really boring just for the sake of getting to like Div 2 and straight away or stuff. I'd rather just play loads more games and have fun doing it and get there eventually. But we shall see about that. For now, I'm gonna leave this video here. We've got our rewards, they're actually pretty good. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Should we get untradeable or tradable in the future or even just take the coins? Like we could have took the coins and almost had 300,000 coins, but we didn't. We got untradeable. We got ourselves a sweaty Premier League squad and a few players that we can be trading in for SBCs. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time.